Hi guys, in this tutorial I will show you how to model this simple stool. So let's jump in. <coughs> let's start with the common polyline to draw the basic shape of one legs. Okay. Now with the common points on I adjust the shape of the leg. It's about 45 centimeters centimeter height, sorry. After do this, I use the command mirror to duplicate the um, the legs and create the second leg of the stool. I have adjust the position of the leg. After that, with the rectangle command, I draw the bottom part of the, the stool. Um, it's about 2 cm height and the, the shape of the rectangle doesn't matter so much. We refine this in the next steps. Now uh, I have adjust the shape of the, the legs and the, both the top part of the stool and with the trim command I deleted the, uh, the edge that uh, doesn't interest me. Now I'm preparing to do the same things with the bottom part of the top of the stool and with the trim I deleted the unoccurred parts. <coughs> now I'm going to close the, <coughs> the shapes. And separate the, the parts that I need to for creating the shape of the leg. To do this I use the split command. After this I isolate <coughs> A single piece to complete it with another polyline and join the two segments. I repeat the same process for all of the other parts. Now I prepare a second layer named Curve CRV. <clears throat> to store these lines inside and work more clean. This is my method, feel free to use uh, every method you want to, to use to, with the, the lines uh, and, the, and the other things. I adjust the other curves and join it to create the last things. Now I have only to join the, the top part. So good, we have finished. Now we have all the, the curve on a separate layer named CRV. Now, with the, uh, the first curve selected, I use the command extrude GRV 
to extrude the first solid part of the stool, in this case a leg. I repeat the command to create the second leg. <coughs> Now, in the right view, I duplicate with Alt the legs to create the basic shape of all the legs of the stool. Now, with the extrude command, I created the top part of the stool. I think 30 cm is a good value for it. I prepare the the side part <coughs> who join the two legs of the stool extruding it for two centimeters and place it below the two legs duplicate it to create the other side of the stool Now we have the basic shape of the stool in solid mode. Ok, now I'm going to create the last part of the stool. With the command polyline I'm going to draw from the, in the front view from the angle of the port, top part of the legs a line a rectangle to uh, create the shape of the last lateral support that I need to draw to complete the stool. Let's join this. And all we have to do is extrude this curve to complete it. So, now I have to mirror it in the center of the stool to create the other side. The basic shape of this stool is finished, it's complete in all parts. Now we have only to refine it. Okay. Now I have duplicated the legs and the other parts that I need to have to um, create uh, the intersection with the boolean operator of the, the legs and the side part of the stool. So, copy and paste. Now with the common boolean difference I have to subtract from the leg with the lateral support. After doing this, I have the leg cut it. It's uh, similar to trim. I have the leg cut in the, the parts uh, covered by the lateral support. I repeated this with the other legs and the inner supports. The only command I have to know is boolean difference ok we have completed the boolean differences to create all the non overlapping parts of the shape of the stool and after doing this I will do a chamfer to create uh, some interesting edge on the contour of the object. So, with the common chamfer edge, with the, I set a distance of 0 0.03, and I have to apply this common to all the edge of the stool. So I select 
the top part of the, the stool inverse selection and dive and now chamfer edge chamfer edge sorry and create with selecting all the edge to chamfer this nice fillet hard fillet of the top part of the stool let's repeat this command with the other parts of the stool okay we have done we have created our stool and uh, I hope you enjoy this and uh, stay tuned for other tutorials. Bye!